What is up everybody and welcome to another sneak peek slash unboxing video. I am so freaking stoked for this one. Um, I'm going to try to keep these short and sweet so I'm just going to go ahead and start opening the box while I talk. Um, I just went to the uh, FedEx store. This one was uh, signature only and I knew I wasn't going to be home so I had them hold it at the store and I ran by and picked it up on my way back from work. Um, so I literally just ran to the store, got this, and got back to my house. Um, what's special about this one is that I actually asked Reddit's r slash um, knife club, which is somewhere that I frequent, to help me pick out my next knife. And this was the one that everybody, well not everybody, but this is the one that uh, was voted for the most. Um, and it should be pretty, pretty significant. So let's see what we got here. This is going to be my first, a lot of firsts on this one. This is my first South African knife. My first knife with zirconium. And uh, yeah, it looks like it just comes in a knife taco. One of these days, I'm gonna have a knife come in a pelican case, I swear. Apparently I haven't made my way up the ladder enough for that to happen, but I get these bodegas and all kinds of crazy expensive knives. And they never come in a pelican case. All right, here we go. So that exposes the maker. Um, this is an Andre Thorburn knife. This is kind of cool. This isn't what it looks like, by the way. This is just a random picture. Oh, this is the um, the uh, certificate of authenticity. So that's cool. I'll show that to you guys. So it's um, M390 steel. It's an L36M. Um, it actually wasn't marked as an M on the website. It was just a regular L36. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Uh, zirconium bolster um, and then texturing by, I don't know who uh, Marietti is. Uh, maybe Thor, uh, Andre Thorburn's wife. I'll have to look into that. I haven't actually looked that up. Uh, manufacture, manufactured 12, 11, 2016. So um, it's, uh, it, April is actually in a couple days. So this knife's about four months old. Got picked up by Tri-City Customs at the New York uh, knife show in 2016 and I'm going to be the first owner so let's check this thing out not exactly a knife taco but certainly a knife case oh man okay I'm really pumped <laughs> holy shit <laughs> oh wow it's definitely bigger than I thought it was gonna be oh my god this is amazing okay Definitely bigger than I thought, um, which is great because I love bigger knives and I always get disappointed when knives come through. Um, I recently, you guys saw the, the video and the sneak peek with the Gavco and that was a little bit smaller, um, which was a little bit disappointing to me. So, man, this thing has some serious size and heft to it. Um, so I'll go ahead and just show you guys. It's got a little bit of a fur on there. Uh, this is the hand um, handcrafted zirconium bolster that is anodized with multiple, I believe three, two or three different colors of purple, which is why I bought the knife because if you guys haven't figured it out now, I'm a fan of purple. A lot of the uh, Thorburns, the um, zirconium or the, the etching that they do, if it's like a titanium bolster, they get this, they get this lighter blue, which is cool. I like blue and I probably would have still ordered one of those. Um, but when I saw that this one was purple, I had to go for it. Um, and this is my first experience with zirconium. I'm given to understand it's a very soft metal, so certainly don't ever want to drop this one. Um, I don't know if it's coming up on video. There's some slight coloring to the zirconium as well, a little bit of green, a little bit of purple, but it's very, very faint. Um, and then, of course, you have the purple uh, dots that are filled in. This is gorgeous craftsmanship. Um, and then the pictures on the website actually didn't suggest to me that the carbon fiber here was going to be shiny. Um, that gloss look, I actually thought it was going to be like a matte feeling. So I'm not disappointed in that, but um, that was definitely not my expectation. So this is actually pretty nice that it feels a little bit smoother. Um, this zirconium bolster actually feels a lot smoother than I had anticipated as well. I would have thought that this texturing would have really caught your finger, um, but it doesn't. It's incredibly smooth and incredibly light. Um, and you can see here there is some purple anodizing, purple and pink anodizing inside the teal anodizing of the wave pattern, which um, Andre is known for. But I don't know if the purple normally shows up on the knives that aren't purple. 
Um, of course, you have the ceramic clip ball. And let's just go ahead and end this video with the action because that's what I've been told is so amazing about these Thorburns. And then I'll, uh, I'll cut it short, guys. I'll let you go. And you guys can tune in for the full video. So let's check it out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I get it. All right, let's 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 see it drop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Talk about tolerances. I actually think the knife might be touching the liner there. Um, it does look like it might be touching the blade here a little bit. I don't know if you can see that little dot. Um, so I'm going to take a look at this. Um, I don't even think I can really adjust the pivot without removing the bolster. Um, so let's, well, I'll check that out for sure. Um, but thanks so much for tuning in, guys. This is my first Andre Thorburn knife. Um, it's an absolute beauty. I totally understand what people are talking about. The sound that this thing makes is freaking unbelievable. But the knife is off-center, um, and it does appear to be touching the liner. So I am going to have to um, apparently remove one of these bolsters and take care of that. Um, but I'll get that done, and I'll show you guys the full video. Thanks again. If you guys want to see videos in the future, please remember to subscribe. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It definitely helps. Check me out on Instagram, at Tavarish Works, and I'll see you guys next time.